Hey, what's going on guys? This is uh, Joe here with another video from Photo Unity. So today we're going to be going through the hue, saturation and luminance. Cool. So before we start, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. Awesome. All right. So we have all these sliders. So if you come down from your basic panel here, you've got all these sliders here. Starting off with your hue, your saturation and your luminance. You can press this panel here to concentrate on a particular one. Or you can press all. And that's just in the far right corner there. And when you use this, you can use basically all of them will appear on the screen. Cool. So let's start off with luminance. Luminance is basically the brightness of a colour. So say if I wanted to make the greens brighter. I would just drag this slider over to the right and you can see there it's making the greens brighter and darker. Um, another cool little tip which you can do with all three of them, if you've noticed there's a button just here on the side. So if you click that button and drag it over, so you click the button, pull it over to wherever you want on the particular part of the image. So Say if I wanted to get this forest a, a little bit different uh, luminance colour, I can then just click on it, hold down and drag. And that's going to change. Basically Lightroom's picking the colours for me. So if you look here, when I click this, and I click on the particular area of the image, Lightroom has now selected what, what colours it's, it's uh, going to be affecting. And it just makes life a lot easier for me rather than blindly just kind of sliding the sliders around and picking what kind of effects I want to go for. It just makes life a lot easier. So say I've wanted to get the forest brighter, I can just go here and pull this up. And there you go. That's looking really cool. All right. Nice. So let's move on to saturation. Saturation is... As it says in the name, the saturation, the intensity of a selected color. So say if I wanted to make this car here uh, a lot more red, I could do that by just dragging this slider up here. As you can see there, it's getting really sort of bright red there, probably a little bit too intense. Again, you can use this slider here to make everything more intense or less intense. Depends what kind of effect you want to go for. I mean, desaturating the image can look pretty cool sometimes. Uh, it really depends what you want to go for. So yeah, that's saturation. I'd definitely have a little play around with all of those sliders. See what you like. See what kind of effects you want to go for. And hue is the last one. So that's probably one of the most like sort of creative ones, I guess. It's a little bit harder to explain. It's basically the shade of a colour. So like say if you came across a yellow flower in a field, is that flower bright yellow, like 100% yellow, or is it like a green yellow, or is it an orange yellow, or it's basically the shade of the particular colour. This one you can definitely, it's probably like you can get a lot more creative with this one than the other two. It really changes the image. So like say, um, say if I went to this particular location and I didn't feel that that ground looked you can make it basically look a lot more like it looked to you in real life so i felt the the ground was a little bit more orange than it is it, it looks quite pale in that image i could then click on the ground with that slider and move this up so move this up like that and it'll change off that's actually selected the forest there just bear with me one second so i can just get this slider click on the ground and Move this up like that, there you go. And that's taking it to more of a green colour. And I can bring it down and be like, oh yeah, that it was a lot more like that. It was a lot more of the dark orange. So going to the left, you're going to make it a lot more sort of orangey red. And going to the right, you're going to make it a lot more yellow. So I think that's looking pretty cool there like that. Um, again, you can get really creative with this one. You can either make it look more realistic like it did to you. Or you can go like crazy with it and you know make it completely sort of psychedelic looking completely surreal kind of look to it if you wanted to do that you could you know like as you can see here I'm really kind of changing the image you know some something like that if you wanted to 
um, as, as you can see you know it's really making a huge difference to the image really really powerful tool so yeah um, definitely sort of play around with them all experiment with them all you'll soon develop your own style and your way of doing different things but as you can see it's a really powerful tool and it makes a huge huge difference to your images so yeah um, don't forget to comment like and subscribe and in my description below there there's a link to download Lightroom there's a list of all the equipment that I'm using at the moment so be sure to check that out and there's a link to a really cool Facebook page that I'm running at the moment so yeah cool thanks for watching guys and enjoy the rest of your day